he is one that I have high regards will go on to be a important player for the senior national team for the foreseeable future. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about another young rising star who has been making waves not only with the Mohammed the Sixth Youth Academy but as well as the under 17 Moroccan national team. This player many fans see as one that could possibly have a successful career in Europe. Sort of similar to Naya Faguer. But before we go ahead and begin this video, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Born on April 16, 2006 in Marrakesh, Morocco, Abdel Hamid Ay Boulal was destined for the pitch. His football journey began at KC Marrakesh, the main club of his hometown, where his talent quickly became an apparent. And in February 2023, Ibilal got his first ever opportunity to showcase what kind of player he was and how he will revolutionize the national team going forward when he participated in the Mohammed VI Under-19 tournament going head to head with some of Europe's elite in the likes of Olympic de Marseille and Rangers FC. And though despite an elimination in the semi-final in what was a dramatic penalty shootout, I Bilal's performance left a lasting impression setting the stage for what was to become his future. Now, moving forward, I Bilal's national team journey is something that has to be greatly commended for so far what he has done in the short time that he has been with the under 17 national team. Now selected for the Moroccan under 17 team, he played a pivotal role in helping them reach the final of the Arab under 17 championship in Algeria. A match that ended in a heartbreak but not without showcasing his talent. And although there was controversial altercation after the final, it highlighted the intense rivalry, but it also showed how I Blau was very mature and remained unwavering. His leadership was instrumental in Morocco's victory at the UNAF tournament, securing their spot in the under-17 African Cup of Nation. And there, he was a mainstay, a rock solid for the national team as he helped his country reach the final of the African Cup of Nation. And though they would go on to lose against Senegal in the final, he was ultimately named in the best 11 for the African Cup of Nation, just showing how much of a player he has grown and how much crucial he will be for the national team gaining respect admiration and definitely his popularity growing in size and it only continued from there as his next big step would be to participate with morocco at the under 17 national world cup there he even continued to rise up the ladder with morocco being a player that was definitely recognized by everyone who went and saw the competition and paid attention to Morocco. He was one that definitely showed that he can definitely compete against some top talented teams that many had considered were way better in aspect, but he showed resilience to the end. So much so that he was starting to gain attention from some of Europe's biggest clubs. And though he decided to stay with the Mohammed VI Academy, things would soon change for him as this year he would again participate in the Mohammed VI Under-19 Tournament. And there and the, he was another main show out. Going as far as helping Morocco go to the semi-final where unfortunately they would yet again lose out but this time it was different as Ayipula had showcased that he wanted to actually go and leave Morocco behind and play with Zero and though to this day he is still there he has publicly stated that he wants to play for Europe and doesn't want to 
try out his luck in the Batola League, something that is commendable because a lot of players during his age would usually expect to just stay mature for their local club as opposed to testing themselves in Europe and so much so that this tournament actually served as a benchmark for him because the likes of Sevilla, Liverpool and a few other European giants were definitely watching his performance throughout that tournament and hopefully with everything that he has shown up to this point he will hopefully secure a move to a European team that he can continue to grow with. So there you have it. This is a short summary of who is Abdelhamid Aybulal. He is a young up and coming defender that has definitely made a name for himself in the short span of time that he's been with the Mohammed VI Youth Academy as well as the under 17 Moroccan national team. He is one that I have high regards will go on to be an important player for the senior national team for the foreseeable future and include that with his leadership and his mentality. I could maybe even argue the case that sometime, say maybe a several years later if he continues to perform well, he could easily make a case for being a captain for our national team. But for right now, he just needs to continue to develop. As mentioned, he already has a lot of clubs vying for his signature because they already acknowledge that he has the talent to play for some of Europe's elite. And I hope that does come into fruition. But for right now, we can only hope and see what his future will hold for him. But of course, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion. What do you think about Ayatullah? Do you think he is a future superstar in the making for Morocco? Or do you think, you know, he might just go on to be a regular defender that maybe every now and then we call up? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinion. And always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.